as you can see we're still having problems with our tomato plants these ones have got very ferny top growth but these seem to be the ones that were most badly affected they're just not growing very much at all after we noticed this I got straight on with emailing the manufacturer of the grow bags which is Levington's and also uh, I was looking for an email for Dow but they seem to have changed and have now become Corteva anyway Levington wrote back to us, sent an email back to us asking for photographs which I duly sent and then followed up with a request for us to provide a soil sample for them to analyse which I am a little bit sceptical about because it's very difficult to analyse whether the amino pyrrolid or chlorpyrrolid residue is actually in the soil and it's going to be quite difficult to decide whereabouts to take our sample from because if you look here this plant in the middle is really badly affected but the ones to either side not so much so obviously the contamination isn't spread evenly throughout the grow bag Meanwhile, whilst I was waiting for Leving to send us the um, pots and things that we needed to provide the sample with, Corteva emailed me and were very interested in finding out whether I contacted the compost supplier and asked me to keep them informed of any conversations that I had with the supplier they too were going to talk to compost makers. So that's where we are at the moment. We're going to try today to take a soil sample and see where that gets us. But I would add, if you are having these sorts of difficulties, it is important to report them because if you don't, the compost companies will just carry on in their own way, maybe unaware that there is a problem so do report it to the compost manufacturer, whoever that may be, and it's not just Levington who will be involved, but also to Corteva. Anyway, let's see how we can do with this sampling idea. So this is the sample that we're supposed to fill. So somehow out of that grow bag, we're going to have to try and get... Uh, it's about the size of a margarine tub, yeah, isn't it? It's size margarine tub. Ironically, um, they provide gloves, gloves, and they and say a frightening array of health and safety instructions when you're taking this compost out, like not to handle it, or get it on your hands, make sure you pick up any residues. It's almost like this compost is a deadly poison. And bearing in mind, we've all been using it, haven't we, and planting things in it and just using hands and are supposedly able to eat things that have grown in it. So, those are the instructions. So, we're now going to attempt to... Uh, the difficulty is, of course, because the bag is already planted up, we have to somehow find an access to get to the compost, don't we? We do. Anyway, I'm going to have a go now. Okay. See what I can do. And down there, you can get the cut piece out here. Cut yeah. out to like a V shape. Do you want to set it going? Then we have our discussion. I have got oh. it going. So if we have a V shape out there. Either that or do a flap. You know, like two sides, a bottom and a... And just open it up. Well, I was going like to... Like an envelope. I thought I'd just get more space there if I did a V and then well, left what? this bit attached. Okay, whatever you think. Can, are we going to the area where the most contamination well, is? That's so. the We're, middle. Yeah. Yeah. 
isn't this fun? <laughs> can see some roots that have got down as far as this grow bag. No, a moth. To try and not disturb the roots as much as we can in case it recovers. It's an awful lot, isn't it, that they yeah. want? Maybe if you go that way, can you? Because that's going towards the plant that's... Somebody on um, YouTube said, have you checked the batch number? So. I said, no, we don't usually do that. He said, well, it will be somewhere on the bag if it will be easy to find. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we've, we've got the whole bags planted up. It's probably on the back. So, we don't know the batch number. There you go, how about that? Send them that. Yeah. So now the idea is we've got a prepaid envelope which we have to put this container in. We've got to dispose of all the rubber gloves and everything that we've used and put it in this envelope and send it off to Levington's. Mm, or, or I think they're called Evergreen or something. Yeah, I'm going to find some compost to fill that hole up with. Yeah, okay. I'll come after you, I'm stuck here. <laughs> Not a lot of space. If you were to see us now, anybody who's passing must know what think what on earth are we doing? We're on our hands and knees on the plot garden uh plot greenhouse path, squished together, looking at the bottom of a plant. Anyway, we'll keep you informed. <laughs> Bye for now.